Yeah, let's lift a shout of praise. If you, if you believe he's good this morning, can we praise him for just a second? Even if it's two or three seconds, can we lift a shout of praise if you believe he's good? He's a good father. He's a good father. He wants good for his children. He loves his children. He's good. He's good. He's not sitting up there looking at us like, whoa, Johnny, you done did it this week. He's good. He's full of mercy and grace. He's tender hearted. Yes, he's a just God. Yes, he is righteous in his anger, but he loves you. Come on now. We sing these songs every week. He's good. He's great. You're a good, good father. And they're true. And they're true. I thought of this, this scripture last service during the prayer, this prayer time. Jesus says, among you, which father is going to give his child a snake if he asks for fish? Right? If me and the, I don't have any kids yet. At least I don't think so. <laughs> but how many of us, if a child, if a child asks for fish, we're going to do everything we can to what? Give it fish. So how much more does your heavenly father love you? Amen? How much more? Exceedingly and abundantly more than you could ever ask or imagine. That's how much. So Lord, we just thank you for these moments. We get to worship you. And we can just pause for a second to tell you how good you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Bind us together now as a, as a church that is on the precipice, Lord, of, of moving forward in your kingdom. You can feel it all over the place. Every campus, every service, Lord, there's just a hunger. There's an anticipation of what you're going to do. And because you're a good God, Lord, and because we're seeking after you, you're going to make it happen. You're going to make it happen. We love you, Lord.